Greetings all Mech fans, it's Mechasan here and I got another little reaction video here for, well, a new Fafner project called Fafner the Beyond. This is a, I don't know if it, they don't have it, they haven't said if this is a full anime series or a movie, it's just another anime project in the world of Fafner. I, that's a video confirmed, blah blah blah, I don't even think... I'm assuming it's set after the events of the 2015 Fafner series called Fafner. What was it called? Damn it! I, I, I come on! I, I had the image right here, and how did I, how did I lose it? Oh, that, because yeah, Fafner Exodus. Yeah, the Fafner Exodus series appeared in 2015, and um, let me just say this: it's quite clear that um, in the world of Fafner. The very concept of a happy and sweet ending is completely foreign. In fact, it pretty much does not exist here. Because the ending of Exodus can best be described as a very bitter ending. And not bittersweet here, not bittersweet, I'm talking bitter, like drinking cough, straight up the blackest coffee with, I don't know, what kind of additives here that can make it a, give it a stronger, bitter taste? It's like, wow. Wow. Even when the characters win and all the sacrifice is done, in the end, when it, in the end, like, they can't have an ending without leaving us, like, oh, why? Get, leaving us hurting, even, when the battle will conclude. It's like, you, you have to add more bitter into the ending. Damn. Damn. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, so anyhow, the artwork for Fafner, many of the character design, they're the same, it's the same designs as those characters in Gundam Seed. But really, the Fafner mechs, that's where it's at for me, because those are very unique designs, in my opinion. Alright then, let me just... So, this is the first teaser for... Fafter Beyond. Let's see how much depression I can get from this. Okay, nice water effect there. The Ferrari is probably real. Yep, no, no subtitles, people. Sorry about that. This, there's no, no, no subtitles. No capcations. I thought there was a festum. Alvis? It's not the name for like the... Hmm. Here we go. Yeah, it's like these are survivors of the Japanese nation which fell to the festum. Or, or rather destroyed by the UN, by the Earth government after... So naturally, yeah, the, U the Earth government here is portrayed very badly, and like they're, they're bad guys, basically. They want to eliminate all the Festum and all those in any way contacted with the Festum. Believing them, believing those contacted with Festum corrupted and just a danger. <laughs> oh wow, Mark Zay! The Mark the yeah, like the mech game was became very OP by Exodus. Oh, like they described this one like the god of nothingness almost. Probably not right there. Let me. 
Damn, I I want to take out my sketchbook now. But oh, sorry, people. Let me let me check something here, people. Oh. Hmm. Uh. Never mind. I I thought I heard the camera beep off. God, that thing is beautiful. Sorry, sorry. Back on, back on. Oh, him again? He's still alive? Oh, yeah, no, he's still alive. They, they never killed him, did they? Mark on Uh, brother, I feel like the depression coming on. I'm not exaggerating, people. I mean, god damn. I'm just thinking back that of everything that happened in the 2015 second season. And how, and like, what potting the Fafners was doing to the new pilots. Like, one was getting, like, these weird gaps in his body, another one was getting these weird orbs, it's like, and another guy was becoming literally lighter, like he was losing weight almost, but not in a good way, it's like, what the hell, he gotta disappear? It's so, oh yeah, and one of the characters actually, you know, you know what, no, no, I'm not gonna spoil it, I'm, I'm spoiling it, people, I'm sorry, I think I spoiled enough. Just note that in the end, yeah, our, everything more or less goes back to normal. But it's still bitter as shit. I mean, come on. Can we get a happy ending? Can we get a happy ending in Fafnir? When are we gonna do that? I mean, Jesus Christ. It was at the Festum. It's, well, the guys in the island here, which Suki, you, I completely forgot the island's name. Or it's a Freaking dumbasses in the Earth government doing shit that they really shouldn't be doing. Well, we're good. Well, I'm not people. I, I sound like I'm like I, I don't want this. No, I do want this because I like the world of Fafner. I want to see how they do this because my God. Second season really showed us just how much sacrifice people have to do in order to like survive the festum. How much they had to abandon and, and give up. And I'm not talking about people, I'm talking about land itself. And damn. Damn, we're talking a uh, we're talking a high death count here, so. I can't wait. I'm hopeful for this project. I don't know what it's going to be, if it's a movie or another season entirely. Although they seem to be, if they're going on a theme here, then yes, it will be a movie. But don't hold me to that. I just don't know how much I can take. I mean, I, I thought I forgot about about Exodus, but no. No, the memories, the emotions I felt as I watched each episode, they're coming back to me. And wow, I'm... Whew! Shit! Holy shit! Okay, people, those are my thoughts. Uh, tell me what you all thought of this teaser trailer here. Again, this is just, this was recently shown, I mean, literally, it was shown, it was unveiled yesterday, as of this recording, on a Friday. 
So there was no like English subs or anything like that. I'm pretty sure someone will make them, but like I said in a previous tra in a previous reaction video, I kind of like it like this, where I just let the the picture, the every just what I'm seeing here, describe the emotion, and and I'm not distracted by the subtitles or anything like that. And oh boy, it's got me feeling melancholy for the most part, actually. <laughs> And like, oh my god, like something is pressing on my chest, like squeezing it. Well, like subscribe for more videos. As always, people, tune, tune in next time for more Let's Plays and reactions. Oh boy. You know, ironically, a Fafner is one of those mechs I really want to pilot. But at the same time, I'm also afraid to pilot it because of the side effects. And they're very random, the side effects here, and what each, each different mech, because they're not all, well, other than the, um, the Earth, the Earth, uh, government. The one in the, oh yeah, I remember, I remember now, Tatsumiya Island. The one they make is all very unique. And the effects differ greatly on what the pilot is. What the pipe goes through. So I'm afraid. Well, one actually, one of the universal side effects is that uh, prolonged piloting could eventually lead to death. So it gets, to a, it gets to a point where after you reach a certain point, you can no longer pilot a Fafner or you run the risk of being assimilated. It ain't pretty. Imagine, if you will, recent, a recent analogy here. Imagine the Locusts when they were all encased in crystal after the emulsion countermeasure weapon was unleashed. And we see them, and we see those crystals in Gears of War 4. Best analogy I can give you. You become encased in crystal, but you become assimilated to the Festum Collective. No, no, thank you. I, I like having. I like being like this very much. I wouldn't mind some spare robotic, spare robotic parts, but hey, I like still being independent, an independent being, not part of a collective. Thank you. Well, that's all I gotta say. So, uh, as always, this is Mikasan. Logging out. God, this went on for a long time. Whew. Often really brings a lot out of me.